Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, tea stirs. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. So, there have been so much overshadowing what's been going on with Mio and her children, and I think that's so unfortunate because these are some of the things that Mio's baby mama don't think about when he's out here doing the things that he's doing. The fact that he did that interview with Tasha K, his daughter's sugar mama birthday was coming up, Mariah's birthday was coming up up and now boss baby's birthday is here he did not think about any of that obviously because he's never thinking about his kids and baby shout out to Mel because I don't know how you do it you got birthdays back to back you got to do sugar mama Mariah and then boss baby I believe tank birthday is more in the summertime y'all correct me if I'm wrong and I know y'all are but baby Mel is clapping back she has been clapping back a lot since the year of revelation she's not been playing with y'all ass so anybody that's been pissing her off she's been on y'all ass so let's get into it we gotta wish boss baby a happy birthday mariah birthday just passed sugar mama birthday passed in december let's wish all of the eminem kids a happy birthday we also want to send many prayers to them because we don't know exactly what it is that they are feeling and experiencing in these moments but from experience i will say that the feelings of a child in the moment like this and throughout their entire life is always going to be up and down when it comes to thinking about or trying to make sense of things that were going on back in these times. Believe it or not, these are going to be some of the most traumatic experiences for them and that is extremely unfortunate and that will be nobody's fault but Mill's baby mama and this is why you guys have seen me speak about these issues when it comes to the kids so heavily and thoroughly because I understand that it is extremely hard for a child to articulate these emotions and oftentimes they wait until they get older to be able to truly articulate them because these situations take time to process like you process these situations literally within a 10 year time span and even still you still are not truly done processing the entire situation melody didn't ask for this and her kids don't deserve this what they're going through right now whether we like it or not is going to play a role in who they are in the future and of course that's not always a bad thing because look at me I've gone through things similar to what they've gone through and I am very open and honest and transparent now granted it's a lot of fire behind me but I think that's just me being a fire sign that's besides the point it's boss baby's birthday today y'all try to support me as much as y'all can by sending her well wishes you know sending her uplifting messages and also supporting the business baby because she got four kids and all of them need therapy because they raggedy ass daddy and what better way to support boss baby or any of the eminem kids on their birthdays other than purchasing any of the products that they have on seventh avenue website now if y'all follow me on instagram then you already know them kids sticks them lip balms I've been running through them. I love the lip balms and I don't have an order. I just use them all at once, which is why when I posted the picture on Instagram, you saw that they were all small because <laughs> I have been using them all since I got them. Like, you know, some people would use one and when that one run out, use the other one. Yeah, that's not me. I forgot when I bought them, but I use them all day, every day, all night, all morning, and I still have one more left. The only thing I will say, don't leave them in your car, especially if you live in a sunny area. Because I left the pink one in my car because I wanted to leave a lip balm in my car in case I needed it, and y'all, it melted. So again, I forgot when I bought these, but I'm down to my last one, and they've been keeping me afloat. So y'all support the Eminem kids. They celebrated all these birthdays recently, and in the midst of them preparing for their birthday they raggedy as musty as no good daddy did an interview to try to distract from him being a horrible ass person when really he just put emphasis on it 
But that being said, let's go ahead and move on. Mel is responding to something on y'all. Now, I don't know if she's responding to her baby mama. I don't know what's going on, okay? But y'all better stop pissing my good sis off. So today, of course, you know, she's super positive, y'all. She always got to give an uplifting ass message when really, Mel, okay? We trying to whoop ass. You need to drop the address. But she says, Wednesday wisdom. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, she posted that today, but yesterday she posted super duper blessed man. I say you can sit back and let people run their mouth and mess up their own. She then I was says, hoping when talking too much goes wrong, fear not, trust God. And then before she made that post the other day, she made this one and it says, I said it the other day and I'm going to say it again. If you need me, I'm here. Holler at me. And that one, you know, she talking to her team and she could even be talking to y'all the millimeters because she is just such a kind person. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now, leave her alone. Stay out her DM. Unless you giving uplifting messages, okay? Don't be bothering her. I'm just playing, but I'm serious. Not too much. I don't know, Mel, but I will say, if y'all gonna be dropping stuff in her DM, you know, give her the whole rundown, okay? Don't just be dropping theories up in there. But don't be hollering at her. At least until after, after April, okay? She got a lot going on, okay? She got the faux churn. She filming. She got all these mega millions businesses, okay? And she got that custody case all right she needs to be focused other than that i want y'all to get in the comment section and y'all let me know what you guys think about all of this own still hasn't said anything obviously because i don't know what it is that they're waiting on in my opinion i think they just don't want to say anything because it might bring too much attention or bring more attention to the situation and i think that's wrong because in my opinion had this been a white woman this would have been nipped in a bud a long time ago so y'all might be tired of me making posts about mills baby mama and pushing awareness and all of this nonsense but i'm gonna keep it up because to me it's bothersome how there is not enough outrage people are not moved enough when it comes to black women women and again we've seen it on so many occasions if this was a white woman going through this with her white spouse or especially a black man this shit would have been nipped in the bud a long time ago and i just don't like that there isn't enough being said about this from the higher ups but y'all get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell so you guys are up to date each and every time that I upload. Yeah, yeah. I pull up road a window, Johnny. I pull up road a window, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. I pull up road a window, Johnny. Oh, it's not in the purpose of all. 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 It's not in the purpose